I've never heard of attorneys getting more than the victims. I'm sorry. that I, I've never seen that kind of payment where you get more than I get, and I'm the one that was hurt. You know, I'm the one that has a dead family member. Because normally, I'm just heard of what the people did. But in right. this case, with the formula, you've got children, um, six and under, 64% of the remaining settlement. And then you've got um, children in the 10% and 5% category. That's too low for those two groups of children that should be raised. You've got adults and property owners in a 3% category with a $1,000 cap. And why they put the $1,000 cap on the adults when you know for a fact that water fills the ground and poison water was more than $1,000. You also know that it rusted people's hot water heaters and washers and dryers and inside plumbing and people would have to buy whole house filters. That was more than a thousand. Why these lawyers that Pastor Miller told them just do right by the people, both children and adults, and they agreed. And why would they put a thousand dollar cap on adults? If you got the whole thousand, then the attorney took a third of that. If they did or didn't have but they got it structured, $600. This is a nationwide look. You got people looking at this like they looked at Pastor Warnock when he was trying to win in Georgia. You got people looking at this settlement like they looked at Biden and Kamala Harris. Now, we didn't deliver. We didn't deliver the vote all across these black cities. This is a historic black settlement. Congressman Kiel Dezos told me last week, we got to get a Department of Justice person appointed, and then we can maybe make CEPA in. Now, did they appoint one? But my point is this. It will be embarrassing to me if we let this settlement go through. Don't do all we can, even objections, with or without attorneys or new attorneys. It'll be embarrassing if the nation look at us and we done got $400 for grown folks who done drunk poison and lead and had rats. Right. Out. So we got to do what we got to do, and we got to get through to that judge. And if she don't listen in these first round of a protection, we got to be ready to appeal to the United States Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals, and I'm up for it. Y'all got me in a first. Well, let, okay, wait, let's, we got, we up. That's right, and I thank you. We're going to take a caller. Is Larry on the line? Yes, well, thank you for taking my call. You know, we're going to different a race or nationality of individuals uh, than how, how they do this. You know, I just look back at some of the things that have happened and been involved in Israel and some of the issues that they're involved in. Since 1948, the United States government has paid Israel for the, uh, the residents of Israel over billions and billions of dollars each and every year since 1948. There are children that are unborn, that are entitled to because of what was done to Israel, or what was done to Jewish people. Those people are being compensated for that. We have a situation here in Flint where individuals have died. We understand that there are more parties that were responsible for those deaths than what has been stated. But yet, we're talking about a settlement agreement. And we haven't even identified all the people that were responsible for the murder and the atrocities that have gone on in place. This is bad. Where? Where? 
on the list when you look at the at the criminal charges the list is not complete we've been saying that it is not complete we've said that this is a national story it needs to stay a national story uh that it was that people were murdered people died as a result of this and and we're not getting what we deserve as a result of what happened when you look at the at what they've been charged for for snyder it does not Punishment doesn't match the crime. Uh, like Larry said, people have been left off the list. Um, and and <laughs> Rachel, I, Rachel I just, Maddow and see Rachel Maddow and CNN should pick up on the nuances of this settlement agreement that's being unveiled during COVID nineteen. Um, we've done it before; we can do it again. We've been to the top, and about that's why we're talking about it. We don't make it happen. And that's and that's yeah, and that's exactly why we're talking about it. And and actually C. K. Hoffler, uh, she's from Rainbow Push, but she also represents the National Bar Association, which is the black attorneys across the country. And she has uh she pulled, you know, met with them about this and she came and met with or you know, through Zoom, met with the uh, Black Bar Association here in Flint. And I know we've been talking with attorneys. Uh, I know, Pastor Miller, you've been part of a group, uh, another group that's been meeting with grassroots and, and, and talking with people and, and trying to get this information out there. And, um, I mean, what do you think about what Larry said? Larry said a lot. Though, but Larry said a lot. And a good lot. Let me say this, I keep coming back to this. There was a request sent in to the governor's office for a meeting about this settlement. What has the response been and how long has it been now? Exactly. And you know what? I, I talked I talk to Pastor Overton. You are absolutely right. And I talked with Pastor Overton. And um, <laughs> he had some harsh words about that. Because I think I think it was a day that... that uh, you all were all on here. I had a few of you, your pastors were on here, and, and that's what he was talking about is how uh, the governor came through when she wanted to vote. She came to people's churches, you know, she, and, but now that we have questions, we can't get a meeting. And uh, so this is the week, uh, you know, the deadline is up. So I will be putting a call, and I have a, I'll tell you what, if Pastor Overton had gotten a meeting set up, he would have called and said so. You know, he would have called and said something. So I know that's what we're going to be talking about also. You need to tell Where is that meeting? Yes. It's refusing to meet with black leadership in the city of Flint. If that don't happen, y'all can't keep with these behind the scenes calls. We need to call a press conference of leadership, pastors, grassroots, elected officials, myself, and let the state of Michigan know. I bet you'll meet and talk to us then, even if it's a conference call. Now, don't tell me nothing like that. Okay, well, you just heard me. Okay, you shouldn't have told Did he, Pastor Miller? Yeah. Did, did he just hear me? Hey, look. <laughs> Is because I already know the action that we get ready to take. We just slow rolling it. But I want everybody listening to know if Mayor Weaver is telling me right, before we get off of this radio show, you will hear us not confused as to what to do. You'll hear us relay some specific plans of action to you. I just talk a lot. I apologize, Pastor Miller and Dr. Weaver. There is another election coming, uh, and she will have to come back to this area. At this point, I don't know what the response is going to be because she also uh, came to town and promised to open a water pause back up. And then got amnesia when she got her office. Uh, so, but before this week, uh, wait, wait, I want to, I want to finish here. I wait, I, I got to finish here on what Pastor Miller said because he, he's talking. Go ahead. My understanding that the government's office, uh, the administration actually were part of the deliberations for this government, and a lot of these details of uh, the, the state government is responsible for them being in the settlement. So I got, I got, I got a section eight the activity was all okay with the two hundred and nine million dollars. First of all, I don't even think I'm with that folks. I don't even think that should be coming out of the settlement. That should be something exactly. That aside from the settlement. All the money in the settlement ought to go directly to the citizens and our 
governor's office kept it within here all the time when she was running for office. She made a lot of promises that she was going to take care of Clinton, make Clinton whole, and she encouraged the administration to have a lot to do with what's been changed in this government. But they won't respond. It's been almost a month. At least a couple of weeks since I told them to send that request in. And for our government not to respond, not, not, not just the government, no one from her office has responded as far as we know. I'm like you, Pastor Overton would have told us uh, if someone had responded by now. I think it's just shameful. It's shameful. It, it is shameful. My position would be this if the Lord gave us a two hour shift and we asked. If, if it was a behind the scene meeting or a public meeting, if, if we asked uh, Governor Gregory Whitmer, I heard Congressman Keel D on your show, Mayor Weaver, Debbie Stabenow and or Peters to convene a meeting before this week is up with us by conference call or on this radio show. Now they got um, staff people. I'm an elected official, but I don't have staff people. If we ask these people to convene on the Dr. Weaver show, Mayor Weaver show, and they didn't, that would show people something. There ain't no way we should sit still with what I'm hearing on top of the scenes and behind the scenes, and we don't put the full court press on. Pastor Miller, if we in the fourth quarter, if you said and you used to pray, and we got a job to do, and we understand law, politics, COVID-19, and they can't get around telephone calls, conference calls, then we stupid. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't care if they got $200 million as long as they made the settlement for the people $1.5 million, and that don't take care of it. But look at what we got. Every time you look at this, you got 30,000 you know, water customers a million at least. If you do $5,000 times 30,000, that's correct. So we're saying that's million. water under the bridge. Right? So when we well, talk about of, uh, money, then we talk about the Paris Division. But the second thing is what it is, the EPA and all of these other entities, they have a $1.9 trillion bill package that Democrats didn't need a Republican vote. So my position is this, if they feel it's trillion, let's not shut the answer. Let them know. I'm not an attorney. That it might take like one point five or eight billion to make class look on your own. You got to hire your own lawyer in a lawyer. And I'm so telling you, you do the very thing. Thirty thousand lawyers are blind. They have eighty thousand people in the city of Flint. And every hundred and fifty million in a case like this is you never had the same lawyer. You never had the same lawyer. And now this is your chance to have a say. Uh, the, 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 the guy you used that example, I mean, 